Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to part 1.0.4 of getting started with HTML5. In this section, I'm going to teach you how to add comments to the document head and what comments actually mean. So to start it off, a comment is uh, basically when you're writing your code, you can insert a comment that will not show up on the web browser, but it's basically something to tell you uh, some more information about your code without it actually being code. So let's go ahead and get started here. So as you could tell earlier, I said, um, this is gonna be in the document head. So right above your title, we're gonna line it up right where the title is. So uh, six spaces like we did last time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and start it off. And you always have to start with an exclamation mark. So an exclamation mark and then two dashes. So that is the start of your comment. Now you can write anything you want. So this is our comment for YouTube. And now to end it, you have to uh, always do two dashes and then close it off. But that doesn't look very clean. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually come down here and then tab over and then line it up right under, actually, let's go back a little bit. So right here, six spaces, and then we want to make sure this is lined up perfectly. So two dashes, and then like that. So that is how you do a comment, guys. So that looks much better. We can actually make it even better if you want, line up the dashes. And then let's go ahead and save this, and then let's go ahead and open this in our web browser to see what that looks like. So as you can tell, there's nothing there because what a comment is, it's basically right behind in the page source, but it doesn't display on the browser. So as you can tell right here, guys, this is our comment. So now you can easily go through your text in your code and see some comments. So if you have something really important, like you need to add something here, you can write a comment so you remember later, and that won't show up in your actual web page. So guys, that was part 1.0.4 of my getting started with HTML5. Part 1.0.5 will be up very shortly. So be sure to look for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.